Before we continue with the video, if you like what I'm doing here on this channel, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel a lot. Anyway, let's get back to the video. For those among you that enjoy 2D games and want to do that part of game development in Unreal Engine and have felt for a long time that that aspect of the engine has not been getting as much love as other parts, now is a really good time for you. Because right now, and hopefully for the future, according to the developers behind this plugin, Critical Failure Studios, uh, Paper ZD is available for free. Now, this is not a um, plugin that's available in the permanently free collection, at least not yet. Uh, but the developers have said that this is supposed to be forever now, and this asset you can find by searching for Paper ZD in the marketplace. So, what is Paper ZD? Well, Paper ZD is sort of the the spiritual successor to Paper 2D, which is the 2D development uh, framework that we have available to us in Unreal Engine currently. Paper ZD allows us to get some tools available to us, which makes development in two-dimensional games much easier. Uh, one of the aspects, we have one that I spent several weeks uh, trying to make a really awesome system for, is that animations don't actually have an animation graph when it comes to 2D development, unlike when it comes to 3D development, where you have animation graphs and blend spaces and all kinds of stuff that supports your animations uh, working in a modular, efficient and highly visual way that it's easy to overview what is happening. Not so in Paper 2D, but with the use of Paper ZD, uh, this is now different. How this works is you need to install this plugin. You first you need to get it for free on the marketplace, then you install it to an engine. Uh, for example, if you want to install it to Unreal Engine 5.0. And then once you are inside of your project, you can then activate that plugin and get access to these features. And these features are among others, like I said, the addition of a animation blueprint. So if we take a look here, you can see that over here we have the state machines that we are accustomed to having when we work normally in Unreal Engine. That is added with the animation blueprints that are available in Paper ZD. In addition to that, you also have something that sort of is reminiscent to how animation blueprints are structured with skeletons. You have sort of a... it's called an animation... Uh, storage and and you have that as sort of your your repository or library where you store your different animations which you then make use of in your animation blueprint and there are a bunch of useful information and tools available uh, if you want to read about how this works you have a documentation down here on the marketplace page it goes through all of the basics essentially for how you use this install it etc etc um, among the things that you have available is, of course, the animation blueprint. You can add things like notifies, which is a little bit of a hassle currently in Paper 2D because you have to keep track of your frames and such manually. So you get animation notifications. Uh, it's also built agnostically, so it's allowing you to extend upon it further if you were to have something, let's say, uh, skeletal development when it comes to... Unreal Engine, when it comes to skeletal meshes, you can have um, different blendings happening between different poses in uh, different animations. That's not possible when you're doing 2D animations because 2D animations don't really have something to blend between them. But if you set up a system where you have a skeletal uh, structure for your uh, development, then this system also allows you to extend to take use of that so you can actually uh, use this animation uh, blueprint to uh, blend between your different poses and such. Uh, in addition to that, you also have the ability to uh, manipulate your different animations by making use of the, the component that is uh, shaping with the paper ZD uh, character. It, it handles your animations for your sprites and it allows you to extend very easily a lot of different uh, 
custom events, event dispatchers, and communication between your character and your animation blueprint and the animation component that the character has. So if you're interested in 2D development in Unreal Engine, make sure to pick up the plugin today and get started making new and fantastic projects with it. That's all for now. Take care. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.